I'm Carolyn, the Trichologist at Absolute. Today we're going to talk a little bit about re-stim. Re-stim is a topical application we use to move DHT away and it's used for female pattern thinning and male pattern thinning. It is not hair loss. Now we do a quarterly newsletter. We have written the specific instructions in that newsletter. If you don't have one, then email us. It's info at absolik, A-B-S-O-L-I-Q-U-E dot com dot A-U and we will email that to you. We also have some very specific instruction sheets that we're more than happy to email to you, but we're just going to go through it again. Now I think the reason why we have so many questions about how we use Restim is it's very different to Rogaine. Now Rogaine is the popular formula of minoxidil, however it has an ingredient in it that I don't like, which is propylene glycol. The instructions on Rogaine, because of the propylene glycol, mean you do not have to prepare the scalp at all, you simply stick the chemical on twice a day and voila, it's supposed to work. Well, Restim that we use, we have a formula in our um, own label now, it's still the same trusted one from Hair Loss Control Clinic, which they call Restim Plus. This one's absolute pre-stim, same thing. Whichever one you're using, the rules are the same. This one is in a base of aloe vera and has 11 natural DHT inhibitors in it. If you don't clean and prepare the scalp first, it simply won't work. So you need to work a little bit harder to be chemical free, which I think is a much better approach, especially when you're looking after the hair bulb, the hair cycle, and also the hair cell. So we take the chemicals away. So the first thing that we do is we do brush therapy. Brush therapy is about the scalp, it's not about the hair. So you detangle the hair and you give the scalp a really good brush to bring the blood supply through. You need to feel a warm, tingling sensation, get all of that oil out so we can actually physically wash it away with a scalp cleanser. Now scalp is skin, you've heard me say that many times before. Your hair is a dead fibre. Do not put hair shampoo on your scalp skin. Within the scalp skin is the DHT, the hair bowl, the hair cell, the hair cycle. This is chemical free. So if you use an organic product, sometimes it's not cleansing enough. So when you've done scalp brush therapy, a specific scalp cleanser, we have made one to make it easier for you if you want to use it. If you need to get it from where you are, we will send you the ingredient list and you find one that is similar. Important to make sure you use a scalp cleanser. Always at least two scalp cleansers as well. You've got to get a foam with this stuff because we're taking the chemicals away. Sometimes you need three or four, but you keep doing it until you have a proper foam and focus all over the scalp as well. The next thing we want to do is open the hair follicle. So you need to open the follicle because the target site is down underneath. So we need to clean the surface to get through. So we have a scalp tonic. Okay, so it's different to a toner you would use on your face. We're opening things up. Again, we've made a formula that's chemical free. You can either use ours or we'll send you the ingredient list and you source one that works. You do that in your treatment area. So for re-stim, your treatment area is female or male pattern thinning which is only the pattern. If you're doing treatment for the hair cycle, it's over the entire scalp. So you need to decide which one you're treating. Depending on that, the next step is going to be when you're out of the shower. So once you've done your brush therapy out of the shower, scalp cleansing, scalp tonic, then wash and condition your hair if it's longer than 15 centimeters long. Okay, keeping it off the scalp. Out of the shower, towel dry. Then we're going to use our micro needle. And we use the scalp roller, they're called derma rollers, all sorts of things. But the main point is that the uh, needles that are on it are acupuncture needles, that they're of high quality and they're no longer than 0.75 of a millimetre long. So they have needles for the face, they're too deep for the scalp and they can actually do some damage and they really quite hurt. So this one is a 0.75 millimetre. Again, we have information sheets that we can email to you if you email a request to us. When we're using the micro needle, what it's doing is it's creating all these tiny channels in between the follicles. It also creates an injury reaction of the cell, which is natural, so it creates a healing power. With the channels and the healing power, it's then open for you to apply your Restim Plus. With this particular formula, we probably recommend about half a mil is more than enough for the pattern treatment area, and this is never ever used for the hair cycle. 
Okay, this is about DHT dehydrotestosterone. It's minoxidil in a base of aloe vera. So you only ever use it where the DHT is. You can use that same prep if you're using something like the ampule, which is for the hair cycle, that's fine. If you're using the two together, you always need to dry the scalp before re -stim. Now that's important. Always dry the scalp before re -stim because you don't want to have any liquid or moisture on the scalp to dilute it. So a blow dryer is the best thing because you've got to work fast whilst you can feel the coldness of the tonic. It's a natural preparation. It's easy to do once you know how. We've done many videos on it. Again, instruction sheets, information sheets, whatever you need for us to help. But please do it right. All right, thank you.